tell us a little bit about the drainage situation here? Sure, yeah, we, we have a decent slope coming off of that cornfield in the back. Uh, and in the springtime, it gets pretty wet, you know, a lot of runoff coming downhill. Yep. So the plan is to have the berm kind of usher water this way towards you yep. uh, to the east. And then actually with the dozer, we'll probably even carve out a little bit more just to make sure that we can really water would go that way. Okay, good. And then starting right about here, before we even started pounding tires, we had a, a big, uh, I guess, curtain drain is the word for it. Okay. Um, so with the site level, they took a reading for subfloor inside the livable space. Yeah. And they went, I think, eight inches below the level of the subfloor. So this trench here was dug about eight feet down. Okay. Um, the uh, perforated pipe was put down at the bottom, and then just a big column of uh, wash stone, number two wash stone, all the way up to the surface. That we can see still there. Right. And that, what is that? Like, that's two feet wide? Or you were saying it's just yeah, the width I of the... Yeah, I think it's about, it was the width of the, uh, the bucket on the excavator. So I yeah. think it was a, a 14 inch okay. wide bucket, cool. roughly. Something like that. So yeah, then, then we uh, just fill it up with stone all the way to the surface. So that should capture everything that's coming off in of the this hill. Time. Yeah. Because yeah. it gets really wet in the spring here. <coughs> and then nice. it'll also help. It won't, you know, the cooling tubes shouldn't get any water in them, hopefully. That's right. So just to explain for those of you who are not, this is a this is the cooling tube just like the regular one in another earth ship, but it's just here since they were on the hill, they had to make it pop out this way. So it starts from the under the ground from the north side of the building, comes here and like just, did you say you did 45 degrees or 90 uh, degrees here? 90 degree That's elbow. a 90 degree, yep. but you were considering, considering yeah. doing it 45. So we can all see, and there's, it's perforated at the bottom. Yep, and it is just dry in, in case. It Perfect. Is dry. That's good news. <laughs> well, we'll see next spring. Hopefully. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully. Tell us more next spring. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But yeah, basically this, uh, this just continues around the whole building. Yeah. Again, maintaining that eight inches below subfloor in the house. All the way. And then it just follows. <coughs> around the end, the curves around the berm. Again, uh, runoff from the berm also hopefully would be Go this way. Yeah, and come in there. Yeah. And oh. those two pipes right there that are sticking out? Yep, those are uh, the cistern overflow pipes, four inch pipe from okay. each of paired the... cistern. So the east pair and the west pair each have their own uh, overflow. overflow. That's and then uh, eventually these will tie into that main line okay. that's coming out here. And then this is that uh, four inch uh, green pipe. The S and D pipe, sewer and drain pipe. I'm okay. Not sure of the name of it. Yeah, no, that's fine. But then it's a straight shoot out here because uh, we don't really need to capture any more water at this point. Yeah. Um, there's a junction here with, where these will tie in. Yeah. And there's also already pipe from behind the thermal wrap. Oh yeah. Because the thermal wrap. I'm gonna has yes. Black plastic or. Uh, Six mil poly plastic behind that. Yep. And then there was crushed stone at the bottom of that, and more pipe. So that's already tying into this. Okay, it's already uh, done. It's that's already because you yeah. do. Oh yeah. So that ties into there, and then this shoots straight out. How far is does that go past this mount there? This little yeah. mountain. Okay, oh wow. Sticking out in the field. <laughs> and then it's coming out here. And actually, it is. Oh, cool. Uh, because we haven't had much rain this summer, it's completely dry right now. So yeah. there's nothing. Usually there's frogs and stuff running around. <laughs> um, but I mean, this would also be a good spot to dig out and maybe make a little pond for 
uh, yeah, ducks that's right. and chickens or something. To... That's right. Because that um, here, that's still your property right here. Right, yeah. All yeah. of this. Oh, actually, I'm sorry. This is, uh, this is six inch. Six inch? Cool. Yeah, so I it's guess ring. it's six inch all the way around. Yeah. Which is even better. Yeah, exactly. As just to make sure. And more volume. <laughs> And uh, can you tell us a little bit about this situation in front also that you decided to add? Because I think that's not yeah, that super was... common even though it looks to be a very good idea. <coughs> so then here we have, uh, because of the, uh, the design of the front entrance, there's going to be some runoff from the vault. Yeah. Which will then fall down there. So I'm putting in, there'll be a drain there. And then probably flagstone, which will be angled from the house. Okay. This way, so it'll probably all angle towards that drain. the middle here. And then that'll capture any surface water here. Yeah. Because this will be like a patio area. Mm hmm. And then that shoots out that way again to get it away from the house. Yeah. And I'm also tying in the front Which, drain because there's plastic coming off of the uh, the, the aluminum or the metal flashing. Yeah, we can see it at, yeah, at the, on there. the far side. Yeah. yeah. And then that'll capture any water off the front, off the front glass, because that there'll be quite a bit of runoff coming from there. Yeah. And then I got that tied in here also. There's a junction, and then that'll stick out come on the back way. as well. Perfect. Cool. So that's about, and that protects your whole. You have got something, the whole thing around. Yeah, so all the way around. Yeah. You're pretty, pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> so well that's set up. Uh, just taking as much precaution as we can. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I think that's a very good idea, and I, I would really like to know more later, because I think that's going to be a really good f feedback for Earthship. You know, as a whole, right. you know, learning how to right. master humid climate and wet climate. It's right. gonna be All right, so can you tell us a little bit about this system that you've added for like overflow or when there's too much rain or... Yeah, and actually it's been tested already too because it rained the other day. That's so right, that's right. Some uh, good some feedback. feedback. <laughs> nice. So uh, we have the two scuppers which um, collect all the, all the water from that hits the roof comes to these two scuppers. And inside here we have four inch PVC intake, so one here and one here. Yep. Um, these bowls fill up with water, and then uh, water goes into these uh, these intakes. And uh, what, what we did is, uh, these are tilted a little bit away from the building. Mm -hmm. um, underneath here is all EPDM sheets that come out probably six feet or so from, from the gutter. Yep. all the way and then they're wrapped around here also to shed water this way but as water fills up in these salad bowls as I call them um, it's tilted so the water would run this way so we just have crushed rock all the way and more black perforated pipe going under uh, there going underneath that to shed it out and actually I had the first rain the other night yeah and I had these covered up so that you don't just so that all the construction Oh yeah, the debris was uh, wicked away. Yeah, and it worked. So the water went over the flashing into here, and then they were definitely working. Wow, nice. Um, so then uh, after it was clean, after it was clean, I took it off, and we had it didn't pour, but we had a good, a good steady rain for about 15 minutes. Yeah, and they never got to the point where. They were overflowing. Oh, nice. Um, which was nice, but we get some torrential downpours here in Sometimes. upstate New York. Yeah. Um, especially like summer thunderstorms, we get it really bad. Yeah. Um, and I am a little worried about... Just these. having too much at the same time? Right, yeah. Having too much coming and collecting here. Um, yeah. I mean, in hindsight, it probably would have been nice to have six-inch pipe... Instead? Instead of the four inch, and yep. then also having six inch for the overflows. Oh, yeah. Um, instead of four and four. Actually, I don't even know. This, 
This actually might be three. Okay, so that's... So, what I might do someday is swap out yeah. three inch PVC for four inch PVC. Mm -hmm. That way we have, you know, four inch overflows and four inch intake. Yeah, and that one would be pretty easy to uh, to change because it's just attached to the salad bowl like that, right? right? Yeah, so, yeah. it'd be pretty easy to yep. upgrade. Nice, and what's, uh, so that's just pouring out there. Like on the final version, is it just is it going all the way to the back there, or? Yeah, probably what I'll do is I'll mount dirt, <coughs> I'll mount topsoil. Okay. This way, so that water doesn't go towards the cooling tube. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And then mount it this way. So it stays so in it's between. A, it's a straight shoot towards to that, the to that drain over there. To the big drain at the back that we can see here. I'll just so. Well, well, we'll have to come out and see what happens during a, a downpour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come out and receive real feedback. <laughs> right. All right, cool. Thank you very much. Yeah. So the goal of your drain is to hollow water, but not dirt, because dirt will eventually clog the drain itself. So most of the time you'll be using geotextile to do that, but you don't necessarily have to every time. So the way to do it is you put the geotextile first, then a little bit of gravel, then you put a PVC or black perforated pipe, then you add some more gravel onto that, and then you can close it with some more um, geotextile. After that you can either put dirt on top of that, or just soil or whatever you want to have as a final product.